Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a chronic disease. It affects the central nervous system, which includes the brain and spinal cord. This system controls everything we do from thinking to walking. It's, uh, absolutely vital. In MS, the immune system mistakenly attacks the protective covering of nerve fibers. This covering is called myelin. Myelin helps nerve signals travel quickly and smoothly. Damage to myelin disrupts these signals, causing a wide range of symptoms. MS is often unpredictable. Symptoms vary from person to person and can change over time. This unpredictability makes MS a challenging disease to live with. However, with proper management, people with MS can live full and meaningful lives. Scientists are still working to understand what causes MS. They believe a combination of factors is involved. These factors include genetics and environmental triggers. People with certain genes may be more susceptible to developing MS. However, having these genes doesn't guarantee you'll get the disease. Environmental factors likely play a role too. Some potential environmental triggers include exposure to certain viruses like the Epstein-Barr virus may increase risk. Low levels of vitamin D are linked to a higher MS risk. Smoking is a known risk factor for MS and it can also worsen the disease. More research is needed to fully understand how these factors interact. In MS, the immune system goes awry. It starts attacking the body's own tissues, which is known as an autoimmune disease. In the case of MS, the immune system targets myelin. Myelin is the fatty substance that insulates nerve fibers. Think of myelin as the insulation on an electrical wire. It helps signals travel quickly and efficiently. When myelin is damaged, nerve signals are disrupted. This disruption leads to various symptoms, depending on the location and severity of the damage. The immune system's attack on myelin causes inflammation which further damages the myelin and the underlying nerve fibers. MS is not a one-size-fits-all disease. There are different types, each with its own characteristics. Relapsing remitting MS or RRMs is the most common type. People with RRMS experience periods of new symptoms or worsening existing ones known as relapses. These relapses are followed by periods of partial or complete recovery called remissions. Secondary progressive MS or SPMS often follows RRMS. It's characterized by a gradual worsening of symptoms over time. There may be fewer relapses but disability accumulates. Primary progressive MS or PPMS is less common. People with PPMS experience a steady worsening of symptoms from the beginning with no distinct relapses or remissions. Understanding the different types of MS helps doctors tailor treatment plans. Unmasking the symptoms. Recognizing the clinical features of MS. Multiple sclerosis can manifest in a wide range of symptoms. These symptoms vary greatly from person to person. Some common symptoms include fatigue, feeling extremely tired even after adequate rest, numbness or tingling. These sensations often occur in the limbs, weakness, loss of strength in the arms, legs or both, vision problems, blurred vision, double vision or even partial vision loss, balance and coordination problems, difficulty walking, dizziness and loss of coordination. Other possible symptoms include muscle stiffness and spasms, bladder and bowel problems, cognitive difficulties, and emotional changes. It's important to note that not everyone with MS will experience all of these symptoms. Shining a light on diagnosis. Identifying multiple sclerosis. Diagnosing MS can be challenging. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a complex and often unpredictable disease that affects the central nervous system. The symptoms can vary widely from person to person, making it difficult to pinpoint. Some people may experience mild symptoms while others may face severe complications. This variability is one of the reasons why diagnosing MS is not straightforward. There's no single test that can definitively diagnose it. Instead, doctors must rely on a combination of tests and clinical evaluations to make an accurate diagnosis. This multifaceted approach helps to rule out other conditions that might mimic MS and ensures that the diagnosis is as precise as possible. Doctors use a combination of methods including a medical history and physical exam. The doctor will ask about your symptoms and medical history. This step is crucial because it provides the doctor with a comprehensive understanding of your health background and any previous issues that might be relevant. They will inquire about the onset of symptoms, their duration, and any factors that might trigger or alleviate them. They'll also perform a physical exam to assess your neurological function. This exam includes checking your reflexes, muscle strength, coordination, and other neurological functions. 
the goal is to identify any abnormalities that might indicate MS or other neurological disorders. MRI magnetic resonance imaging MRI, can detect lesions or damaged areas in the brain and spinal cord. These lesions are often a hallmark of MS and can provide critical evidence for diagnosis. The MRI scan is a non-invasive procedure that uses powerful magnets and radio waves to create detailed images of the brain and spinal cord. These lesions are characteristic of MS. However, it's important to note that not all lesions are caused by MS, and not all people with MS will have visible lesions on their MRI scans. This is why MRI is just one part of the diagnostic puzzle. Lumbar Puncture, Spinal Tap This procedure involves taking a sample of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, from the lower back. The CSF surrounds the brain and spinal cord and can provide valuable information about the presence of certain proteins and immune cells that are often elevated in people with MS. The CSF is analyzed for abnormalities that suggest MS. This test can help to confirm the diagnosis, especially when combined with other findings from the medical history, physical exam, and MRI. Evoked Potential Tests These tests measure how quickly nerve signals travel along nerve pathways. They involve placing electrodes on the scalp and other areas of the body to record the brain's electrical response to stimuli, such as visual or auditory signals. Delays in signal transmission can indicate nerve damage. This is particularly useful in detecting damage that might not yet be causing noticeable symptoms but could still be indicative of MS. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial in managing MS. By identifying the disease early, doctors can start treatments that may slow the progression of the disease, manage symptoms, and improve the quality of life for those affected. The journey to diagnosis can be long and complex, but with the right approach, it is possible to navigate this challenging path. Managing the journey treatment options for MS. There's no cure for MS yet, but treatments are available to manage the disease. These treatments aim to improve the quality of life for those living with MS by addressing various aspects of the condition. Treatment goals include modifying the disease course, which means slowing down the progression of MS and reducing the number of relapses. This is crucial because it helps maintain neurological function and prevents long-term disability. Managing relapses to shorten their duration and severity is another key goal. Relapses can be debilitating, and reducing their impact can significantly enhance a patient's daily life, and relieving symptoms to improve quality of life by addressing specific symptoms. This can include managing pain, fatigue, and other common issues associated with MS treatment options include disease-modifying therapies or DMTs, which help reduce inflammation and slow down the progression of MS. These therapies are often the first line of defense and can be administered in various forms such as injections, oral medications, or infusions. Corticosteroids. These powerful anti-inflammatory drugs are used to treat relapses. They work by reducing the inflammation that occurs during a relapse, helping to speed up recovery and reduce the severity of symptoms and symptom management medications. Various medications can help manage specific symptoms, such as fatigue, pain, and bladder problems. These medications are tailored to the individual's needs and can make a significant difference in daily functioning. Your doctor will work with you to develop a personalized treatment plan. This plan will take into account your specific symptoms, lifestyle, and preferences, ensuring that you receive the most effective and appropriate care for your condition. Regular follow-ups and adjustments to the treatment plan are essential to address any changes in your condition and to optimize your quality of life. Adapting to life with MS tips for daily living. Living with MS requires adjustments. These adjustments can range from small changes in your daily routine to more significant modifications in your living environment. It's important to create a space that is both safe and comfortable, allowing you to navigate your home with ease. Consider installing grab bars in the bathroom, using non-slip mats, and rearranging furniture to create clear pathways. Here are some tips to help manage daily life. Stay active. Physical activity is crucial for maintaining muscle strength, flexibility, and overall well-being. Whether it's a gentle yoga session, a brisk walk, or a specialized fitness class, find an exercise routine that suits your abilities and preferences. Remember, consistency is key and even small amounts of regular exercise can make a big difference. Regular exercise is beneficial for both physical and mental health. It can help reduce fatigue, improve mood, and enhance cognitive function. Engaging in physical therapy can also be beneficial, 
as it provides tailored exercises to address specific challenges you may face. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise regimen. Choose activities that are enjoyable and manageable. Eat a healthy diet. Nutrition plays a vital role in managing MS symptoms and overall health. Focus on a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Staying hydrated is equally important, so make sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day. A balanced diet can provide energy and support overall health. Get enough rest. Quality sleep is essential for everyone, but it's especially important for those living with MS. Establish a regular sleep schedule, create a restful environment, and practice good sleep hygiene to improve the quality of your rest. Fatigue is a common symptom of MS. It can be overwhelming and affect your ability to carry out daily activities. Listen to your body and prioritize rest. Take short naps if needed, and don't hesitate to ask for help with tasks that are particularly tiring. Listen to your body and prioritize rest. Manage stress. Stress can exacerbate MS symptoms and impact your overall well-being. It's important to find healthy ways to manage stress, such as practicing relaxation techniques, engaging in hobbies, or spending time with loved ones. Stress can worsen MS symptoms. Techniques like deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, and mindfulness meditation can be very effective in reducing stress levels. Additionally, consider activities like journaling, listening to music, or spending time in nature to help you unwind. Find healthy ways to manage stress such as yoga, meditation, or spending time in nature. Connect with others. Social support is crucial for emotional well-being. Surround yourself with people who understand and support you, whether it's family, friends, or a support group. Having a strong support system is essential. Sharing your experiences and feelings with others who are going through similar challenges can provide comfort and encouragement. Don't hesitate to reach out and build a network of support. Connect with loved ones or join a support group. These connections can offer practical advice, emotional support, and a sense of community. Remember, you don't have to face MS alone. Remember that you are not alone in this journey. By making thoughtful adjustments, staying active, eating well, managing stress, and connecting with others, you can lead a fulfilling life with MS. Take it one day at a time and celebrate your progress along the way. Staying Strong Support Systems and Resources for MS Patients There are numerous resources available to support people with MS and their families. The National Multiple Sclerosis Society, or NMSS, provides information, resources, and support to people affected by MS. The Multiple Sclerosis Association of America, or MSAA, offers programs and services to help people with MS live their best lives. Support groups are also invaluable. Connecting with others who understand what you're going through can be incredibly helpful. Don't hesitate to reach out for help and support. A message of hope. Living a full life with multiple sclerosis. While MS presents challenges, it's essential to remember that it doesn't define you. With the right management strategies and support, people with MS can live fulfilling lives. Advances in treatment are being made all the time, offering new hope for the future. Focus on what you can control. Stay connected with loved ones. Embrace life's joys. You are stronger than you think. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content on living with MS.